Shake your money maker like somebody might have paid you. I see you on my radar, don't you act like you afraid of shit. You know I got it, if you wanna come get it, stand next to this money like, hey, hey, hey. Shake your money maker like somebody might have paid you. I see you on my radar, don't you act like you afraid of shit. You know I got it, if you wanna come get it, stand next to this money like, hey, hey. Switch it from right to left, then switch it till you're running right out of breath. Hey, so your name Tassie back again with another video. In today's video, we will be doing The Flash Season 3, Episode 20. Let's get right into it. So it starts off with Joe and Cecile, and they're preparing for a marathon or whatever. And Cecile accidentally slips and says, I love you to Joe. And Joe, Joe like me, if somebody tell, tell, tells me they love me, I'm just like, and he was look he looked so shocked and she tried to change it like girl you can't change it it's too late so now we're at star labs and you know they're trying to find tracy this uh tracy girl and so so julian is upset and he's like so you guys are just gonna forget about caitlin like she's still out there and it's like it is <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that like one thing that Julian said is that Wally went to Earth 3 to be with Jesse this is not the time like I uh, like that kind of made me mad like this is not the time for you to be with your girlfriend right now like your sister could potentially die in a couple of weeks like this is not the time like we only got three more episodes okay so I felt like it was very inappropriate for Wally to go to Earth 3 at this time. But then again, I understand. So we meet Tracy for the first time. I'm about to watch that scene right now. Ah, uh, the soul-sucking fluorescence of academia. Yeah, this is exciting though. It's like meeting Norbert before he was Einstein. Albert. Norbert. Albert. Do you smell that? Toast? Holy. You mean save you from a painful fire? She looks so familiar. Get under control. Okay, you know what? Let's put your Don't you look While you still have your eyebrows. Did you set the fire on purpose? Yes, I'm burning everything. Every what? Everything. With My work. What? Well, I don't know why they call it work because none of it works. Well, this isn't exactly what I expected. Me neither. Um, Dr. Brand? Oh, no. Just Tracy. I failed my dissertation. Nothing like 10 years <gasps> down the drain. Oh my gosh, I know who she is. Pause. I know who she is. Bro, I know who she is. The sisters, the sisters from White Chicks. You know, Miss Wilson, you know, na 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 Y'all know who I'm talking about. If you have never seen White Chicks before, come on, bro. Everybody has seen White Chicks. The sis, the, the, are, I don't, were they twins? No, they were sisters. The sister, the dumb one, well, they were both dumb. Dang. Well, the, Okay. Well, the sister that was that okay, the sister that Marlon played that uh that was with that would that went on a date with uh Terry Crews. Her, she I I never forget a face, you guys. I never forget a face. Oh my that's her. We were just hoping that you'd have a moment to talk. Oh no, my bus leaves in five minutes. Oh, Please tell me I didn't earn my bus ticket. Uh, sure, that's hot. Your bus, where Where are you going? Big Belly Burger. I hear they're hiring. <laughs> what? You're serious? Well, what about all your research? Oh, <laughs> you mean my unsubstantiated and transactional inquiry into the purely suppositional nature of extra-dimensional energy? Yes. yes. A waste of time. Or as Dr. Hirsch puts it, a total misapplication of the university's resources. I might as well start practicing. Do you want fries with that? Yes. No. B.X. Stop. Yeah, look, don't let the naysayers get you down. Your doubts, they're traitors. Don't believe them. Your mind is too fine to waste turning tubers into finger chips. Finger chips? Finger chips. He's oh, first. Like a, stop. Look, oh. look, look, you can't give up. Your work on relativistic quantum mechanics and its application to interspatial theory to manipulate matter on a subatomic level. Oh, Jerry B. Jerry B. again. I miss that. Have you shared that hypothesis? He hasn't done that in a while. Other than my therapist. Who are you? We're therapists. No. Yes! I am here for it, Kendrick! Admission here. Oh my god. Yes! 
this? Could we just, oh my God. Could we just really appreciate Killer Frost's outfit right now? Like I am here for it. I'm gonna do this every time I see Killer Frost's outfit because I just, oh my gosh. Like the one on Earth 2, it was all right. Like it wasn't all that, like it was all right. But this one on Earth 1, bro, sickening because she's a bad bitch, okay? <laughs> Let's continue. Okay, we find out that Killer F teamed up with Savitar, and so we got to watch this little scary scene with her and Savitar. She got away. I told you exactly where she'd be. Barry and Cisco were there when I arrived. As I told you they would be. Maybe there's more Caitlyn Snow inside you than you let me believe. Are you saying I let her go on purpose? Did you? You call yourself Killer Frost, but you haven't actually killed anyone yet. You and I can both be gods, free of the pain and suffering of man. All you have to do is kill the girl. So one thing I noticed in particular about this clip, last week's clip, when um, I hear Savitar talk now, they're kind of giving it away to us who it is. The thing about it is like, when I found out that Savitar was Barry, I was not surprised at all. Like, everybody knew that it was Barry. Like, they thought everybody, like I remember reading like an article and saying that, oh, when the audience find out who Savitar is, they're gonna be shocked and then they're gonna find it hilarious. First of all, I do find it hilarious and second of all I'm not shocked at all like I would have been more shocked had it either been one Eddie how, how or had it been Ronnie that would have been shocking or two if it was somebody that we never met before that would even be good so you know by it being Barry they thought we was gonna be shook like they thought we was gonna be you know Oh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do about it. We don't wanna do I'm this Ooh, yeah. Yeah, what, you lucky my friend's holding me. You lucky, because I'll tear your head off. Don't hold me back, dog. Don't hold me back. Oh, okay, then don't worry. Like, oh my God, I was not expecting this. Like, no, we were. We was like, we already know who it is, bro. Now, one thing they got right is definitely I find it hilarious because what version of Barry would ever want to kill Iris? So they better spin this the right motherfucking way because I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. It's not shocking to me at all that it's Barry. What have would have been shocking to me is to see it be Eddie, to see it be Ronnie, to see how they they would come up with the idea of them wanting to kill Iris. That would be shocking. Or what would be even more shocking is to find out that it was somebody we'd never seen on the show before. That would be shocking. And actually it confirmed that it was Barry for me just through the way of how Barry talks. Like Barry talks different from everyone on the show. Cisco talks differently from everyone on the show. And so does Iris. Like certain things that they say you know, without even looking, you know Iris says it, or you know Barry says it. And Barry, it was the way he said no on, on last week's, well, two weeks ago, episode 19. It was the way he said no. And I'll show the clip right here, so I'm gonna just be paused like this. I have come only to offer you what you desire. And what's that? Salvation. You wanna cure me? Turn me back into Caitlyn Snow? No. I want to make sure. Pause real quick. That no. Y'all heard. Take it back. I'm sorry. Turn me back into Caitlyn Snow. That no. Y'all hear that no? That sound like. That sound like how Barry says no. So yeah. I was just. I knew it all along, so I was actually right. My theory was right. One thing that pissed me off about this episode, not about the episode, but about this part is um, Barry, and, uh, Barry and Joe are in the car talking and Barry basically says like, if you love Cecile, you should tell her the truth. The same thing you told me. And I'm like, when did Joe ever tell Barry to tell Iris the truth? Yes, about her, about 
tell her the truth about his feelings for her, but he Joe never told Barry to tell him the truth about uh Barry's identity. Iris had to find that out by herself and find out that Joe knew, found out that Eddie knew, found out that everyone knew besides her. So that's a lie. Like talking about uh if you love her, you would tell her the truth. That's something that you would tell me. That's something that you told me to do. That's a lie. That is a low down dirty lie. He never told you to tell uh tell Iris that you were the flash. That's a lie. Liar. And at the university. See I've been studying speedsters. Uh, and so you know how when they run they generate a trail of lightning behind light, them? Lightning. I, I have to honestly say I like Tracy. I really do. Them. I like the white mm -hmm. chicks girl. Some of it comes from I some, think her you know, and HR compliment each other well. well. I think they're okay. cute. I ship it. Go ahead. Speed force. Yeah. Wait, that is a great term for it. <laughs> well, Speed force. Uh, anyway, so I've been doing some calculations. Mm -hmm. I think there might be a way to manipulate it. Mm -hmm. Maybe even control it. Maybe even turn it into a prison. Maybe. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> it was just a random thought. How do you think one would accomplish that? See, I don't know, because okay. the university wouldn't fund my research. Oh. Mm. Why are you so interested in this? Because everybody thinks I'm a crackpot. I certainly don't think you're a crackpot. I... What's wrong? We should go. We should go. Yeah. Wait, I think we should this go. This was my yeah. favorite part, guys, by the way. Guys, guys, we need a little help here. We got a little trouble here. following me around. It was the left leg last time, right? What? Ooh, that's a bad bitch right there. Okay! <laughs> yes! Okay. We find out that Cisco didn't want to use his powers against Caitlyn because he's scared that he might kill her. Now, I honestly, I honestly get irritated with Cisco when he do stuff like this. Like, 
First of all, he didn't tell anybody he had powers until later on in the season in season two. Then, on top of that, he was scared to ever use his powers, always punking out, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. But then when Kaylin found out that she had powers, he was so quick to tell everybody, like, oh, Kaylin got powers, Kaylin got powers over there. Look at her, look at her, oh my God. And then when he fought Gypsy, he was all cocky, like, oh, I know how to control my powers. I'm tight, you know, I got it right, whatever. I'm so powerful and I know how to control myself. Now all of a sudden he's saying he's scared that he might kill Kaylin because he don't know how to control his powers. You is a lie. You is a liar. Oh, oh, I just, I can't stand when Cisco do that. Like, he is one of my favorite characters on the show, but he just be pressing me to off when he do that. Let's, let's keep going. So, Joe pulls a berry and he breaks up with Cecile's blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, he kidnapped you know Cecile. She came she, in kidnapped. I'm okay. She didn't hurt me. That's because killing you does nothing for me. Killing you, Tracy, that's everything. Hand her over. You don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Why? Because Savitar commands it? He's not a god. He's just a man that's using you. Come on, you're one, one of, of us. us? We're, We're family. a family. We, we protect, protect each other. Till the end. <laughs> <Bad> bitch. <laughs> My bitch. <laughs> How are you doing that? Savitar told me everything you'd say. You two are more alike than you realize. You see, that's how <laughs> Savitar knows right every move you're going to make. He's always one step ahead of you. Because this is all history to him. That's how I know. Cisco's in the rafters right now. Once he heard that beeping, he should have been moved. He over here like, oh no, what is that? That could possibly be beeping. And then I'm looking at it all mysteriously like, like, you should have been moved once you heard that tick tock, tick tock. Hold on, hold on, when is Joe supposed to 
to win like police officer of the year. Like, ain't he supposed to be winning something? When is that gonna happen? Probably, no, not probably next week. Probably like episode 20 or something. Clearly, I was wrong. Because not only did I lie to you, I lied to myself. You know what? I'm done with that. Oh, he took off the ring. I'm done with this. Thank you for not making a big deal about me wearing this. Cecile Horton. I love you. I love you with all my heart. And I'm sorry that I was dishonest with you. And from now on, there won't be no secrets between us. And you know what? Watch Joe and Cecile get married before Barry and I are. <laughs> I hope not. That would make me very upset, actually. Yeah, so we're about to watch the ending scene of episode 20. So let's get right into it. Wally! Hey, Jack. Hey. How was it? It was, yeah, it was great. Jesse says hi. So you talked to Cecile? I did. Told her everything. Told her I love her. I told her that you were the Flash and that Wally was Kid Flash. Don't worry, she promised me that she wouldn't tell Joni. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope they life. bring Joni back too. Mm -hmm. All of you. I mean, love's the only thing we got in this world. And without it, nothing really matters. And who knows what we've become if we didn't have it. How is Earth 3? Yeah, um, hanging out with Jesse is awesome. Just... Very figured it out, yo. Without it, nothing really matters. And who knows what we've become if we didn't have it. You are the leader. I created you. I created myself. You're even gonna create time limits of yourself, but he's gonna kill them all. Sabotage told me everything you say. You two are more alike than you realize. A sabotage knows every move you're going to make. He's always one step ahead of his own. Okay, pause. The thing I don't understand is, and I don't think I don't think I'm ever gonna understand. But my question is like, so is time just keep repeating itself, like? Will this Barry eventually become Savitar and then he'll try to torture his past Barry? Like, will this just keep going on and on unless this Barry, this version of Barry stops it? Like, I'm really trying to understand. Or is Savitar just from a different timeline, a different Earth, or a different version of it? I don't, I, I just don't understand. And you know, I hope they explain everything down to the last to the last bit in episode 21 like i hope that they just show i hope that they for episode 21 that they actually show something from savitar evil berry's perspective like the show has made us believe especially in this season that there is no way that berry would ever harm iris like there's no version of berry that doesn't have iris like they have said this since season one. <coughs> God damn! <laughs> I'm always choking. But yeah, they have said this since season one. There is no Barry without Iris. Like, Barry and Iris are always going to have each other. Whether they are together, like boyfriend or girlfriend, or they marry, or if they're just friends, Barry will always have a version of Iris. There will always be a version of Barry that will always have Iris. Like, and so I'm trying to figure out if that is so true, and they've been saying this since season one, it doesn't make sense that any version of Barry would want to kill Iris. So they better twist this and they better twist it right. Because, okay. This wasn't just brushing up on days to come. This was precise. Like Savitar was there. Who knows what we've become? We didn't have it. One step ahead of you. All history. One step ahead of you. Barry. Are you okay? Yeah. And she knew he wasn't okay. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll be I'll be right back, right? I'm here. 
Everything with you is about time, isn't it? The past, the present, the future. You know all of it, right? And you know everything about me. About Joe, about Wally, and Iris. You know our strengths, you know our fears. You know how much we love each other. And you know how to use that love against us. All this time, we thought that we couldn't stop you because you were one step ahead. But that's not it. You don't just know what's going to happen to us. You were there. You lived it. You remember. Yes! When you were me. Yes! from the beginning. Boy, you better go ahead. Yes! I oh my God. Future Flash. Oh my goodness. That was like the best part, you guys. That was honestly the best part. But you know what? I'm kind of upset that it's Barry, even though I knew it was Barry. Barry over there looking like Zuko. Y'all remember Zuko from the last Airbender? Uh, Avatar, the last Airbender? He over there looking like Zuko with that, with that pepperoni. With that... Sausage meat and what? What is it? What is it? Pastrami face on, pastrami all on his face and shit. Over there looking like Zuko, looking like goddamn. He need to put a mask on. If you put a mask on or uh, cover the scar, that nigga look like Santa of the Opera. Wouldn't he look like Santa of the Opera if he covered half his face so you won't see the scar? That nigga over there looking like goddamn Two Face. Well, Two Face got. Yeah, that nigga looking like Two Face. One side of the face good, the other side of the face bad. Uh, oh, oh, oh! He just looked like the bootleg version of Barry. Like he a bootleg. You was a bootleg, okay? You was a bootleg. You ain't the real Barry. You ain't the real one. You ain't him, okay? Barry, Barry hopped up out that suit like who's bad? Barry got out that suit like this. that review don't forget to like and subscribe remember to comment down below why do you think Barry would kill any version of Iris and don't forget man crush Monday woman crush Wednesday yeah. she comfortable and she's so confused yeah. I'm hot she and she has stuff too she talking about positions we do but I gotta let her know the truth I